guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a favorites video for you guys. This is my October favorites. It is already November, which I know every single YouTube person says is crazy how the months fly by, but it really, really is. Um, November is actually my birthday month. My birthday is November 30th, the last day of the month. So there's still a while left, but still, I can't believe how quickly this year is going by. It's gonna be my birthday, and then it's gonna be Christmas, and then it's gonna be New Year's, and then it's gonna be 2013. It's crazy. But anyways, I've been using some really great products this month that I wanted to show you guys, and I found some new favorites, which I'm really excited about talking about. I know sometimes my favorites videos can sound pretty repetitive because I mention a lot of the stuff in previous videos, and you know, some of the stuff is pulled over from other videos, but some of it is new too, so I'm really, really excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with skincare favorites. So the first favorite is a new product that I got. I haven't even mentioned this in a haul video yet. It's actually going to be coming up in my next video, but um, I just wanted to mention it in my favorites video because I've been using it for the past couple weeks and I wanted to show it to you. And this is my Lush Mask of Magna Minty. This is a face and body mask and it smells like peppermint. It's basically like that green mask that's so typical that you see in movies. Um, and it looks like this. So you can see it's just that bright green color and it's got little specks of beads in it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the exfoliating parts in the mask are, but um, this mask is really, really nice. It's super deep cleansing on your pores. It's kind of similar to the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, if you guys have tried that. Um, this one, the difference is that this one has exfoliating beads in it. So when you put it on your skin, it's kind of clumpy and chunky, but it dries fantastically. And I generally rinse it off in the shower because it is pretty messy. And um, as you rinse it off, you can kind of scrub your skin. And because of those exfoliating beads, it exfoliates your skin as well as pulls out all the dirt and oil and impurities. So I personally love this mask. It is quite pricey because it is a Lush item, but it'll last you quite a while and I love it. Okay, the next product I'm going to be talking about is a hair care item. And this is my Macadamia Natural Oil Oil Healing Treatment. And I actually use this in place of my Moroccan oil. I alternate them actually because I still do have a bottle of Moroccan oil left that I'm trying to, you know, continue to use up. The reason I like this one just a little bit better than Moroccan oil is because I personally prefer the scent of this one. It's not quite as strong and overbearingly perfumey as the Moroccan oil is. I find that this is just as strong. I don't need to use more of this to get the effect of my Moroccan oil. Um, but this is not Moroccan oil. It is macadamia nut oil, just FYI. I'm not trying to say they're the same thing, but I use them in place of each other and I find this is great. I got this at Target in a two pack. Um, it was like buy one get one free so like the two pack was the same price as if you just bought one bottle individually which was awesome okay guys so let's just jump right into makeup favorites so my first makeup favorite is a bare minerals pressed quad and this one is in the shade the truth and if you guys haven't heard of these bare minerals pressed eyeshadows um, they're fairly new they're on the newer side I suppose and um, they're just, they come in quads and duos and I believe eight pan palettes as well. This is one of the quads and it's the neutral quad. So you can see it's just a bunch of a brown toned shades. I was actually wearing this quad in my past couple of videos when I was wearing my Super Panda sweatshirt and I got a ton of comments on what I was wearing on my eyes and it was just this quad, nothing else, just this quad and eyeliner and mascara. And I find this is the perfect everyday neutral eye for me. The shades are on the darker side, so if you're lighter skin tone, um, I mean, it, it won't be like a full-on smoky eye because you can see there are no blacks or super, super dark colors, but um, it's just the perfect everyday neutral eye for me. It looks like I have makeup on, but it doesn't look like I have too much, and I can basically rock any lip with this quad, so I love it. Okay, my next favorite product is a blush, and it's actually the blush I have on right now. And this is one of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. This one is in the shade Stellar, 
and this was one of the exclusive ones that came in this year's holiday kit it's kind of like the neutral one with a little bit of shimmer to it the shimmer is not very noticeable on your cheeks I can't really tell it's there but I did do a whole review video on this pack of blushes it comes with four um, mini sized blushes in the kit and you can get the kit for I believe $35 at Sephora and I have a whole review video on that kit and the Lip Surgeons kit, so I'll put a link to that video in the description box if you guys are interested of seeing the whole kit as well as swatches and all that good stuff. But I can just say that this blush is definitely one of the standouts in the entire kit. Actually, the entire blush kit was just great. It was just a fabulous kit. But I really, really like this blush in particular. Alrighty, guys. My next products are my face products. And they are my face setting powder. And this I've mentioned in a lot of videos in the past. But I wanted to mention it again because I actually hit pan on it. Which is awesome because I haven't hit pan on a product in quite a while. And this is my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural. And if you guys can see right over here in this area, I did hit pan. Um, the pan on the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural is not like a silver pan because it's baked on like a terracotta little pot so this section right here is actually the pan I do have all of this product left so I, I still have quite a bit to get through but I was actually really excited that I hit pan on this product this month and I've been using that in conjunction with my Mac 182 kabuki brush it's just the perfect setting powder for me especially because sometimes I find it's a little bit difficult to find my exact foundation shade so I tend to go a shade darker than normal just because the shade that's darker suits my skin tone better and the undertone is more accurate so this mineralized skin finish in medium dark is just a touch lighter than my skin so I find if I use a foundation that's a little bit darker and then set it with this powder it finds my exact skin tone right in the middle and it's the perfect happy medium alrighty guys so now on to lip products I have been obsessed with lip products this month I have bought so many lip products I don't know what has gotten into me but I just feel like I need lip products on me all the time and I just want to try a lip product from every brand out there and I just want to try everything but my favorite lip products that I've come across this month are my Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Colors. And these are basically, um, they're like a lipstick but in a pencil form. So this is what it looks like. This is in the shade F-Balm, which is the bright red that they have, which is absolutely and incredibly gorgeous. It's basically like the most gorgeous red lip product ever. I was wearing it in my past couple videos with my Super Panda sweatshirt once again and I got a ton of comments on my lip product and lots of you guys liked it so it was this pencil love it and the one I'm wearing today is another super saturated lip pencil and this one is in the shade apocalypse it's just a really pretty like deep dark plummy shade and I love 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 the way it looks it's kind of like that grape plummy color it's perfect for the fall and I think the thing I like the most about these especially compared to like the Tarte Lip Surgeons or the Revlon um, lip balm stain products is that these are so so pigmented I find with the lip surgeons and the Revlon kissable lip balm stain things is that you need to apply quite a few layers of it to get it to show up which isn't necessarily a bad thing um, I don't mind it but these are so pigmented literally one swipe distributes so much color you don't need to like layer and layer and layer these are literally lipsticks in pencil form. I love that. Okay, guys, now for nail favorites. There is one nail polish that has stood out this entire month. It has just stood out as being the best polish ever. I Instagrammed a picture of this. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, please do. I will put my Instagram username in the description box below. And I also tweeted about this polish, so I was seriously excited about this polish. And it's the one I'm wearing on my nails right now. It is the prettiest red polish in my opinion. And this is Chanel Malice. So this shade, if you guys can see, the lighting is doing some weird stuff, so I apologize. But in the light, it's 
the most gorgeous like blood red frosty shade but if you look at it kind of in the shade like back here it almost kind of looks like that oxblood color that's really really in right now so it almost transforms a little bit indoors it looks really dark like a blood oxblood red color and then in the sun it's like this bright ruby red gorgeousness it is so so pretty applied like a dream I absolutely love the way it looks on my nails it is by far my favorite red polish ever I've never put a red polish on my nails and felt the way I felt about this polish it is that serious of a love right here alrighty guys so now we will move right into random favorites so my first random favorite is a favorite candle and my favorite candle has been pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works this is the Slatkin and Co candles I love this candle I haven't burned I guess that much of it it was probably filled like up to here so I burned like a good third of it I would say but I love this scent it is literally like the perfect mix of frosted cupcake mixed with pumpkin or with spice or something greatest fall candle ever um okay second greatest fall candle ever my pumpkin caramel latte candle is still by far my favorite it smells like caramel and pumpkin and latte and amazingness this one is a very close second though and I've been burning this one this month a lot so I just wanted to mention this one okay next is my favorite TV show of the month and my favorite TV show of the month has been the vampire diaries now I have not been watching season four that has been airing because I'm still trying to catch up on season three. This quarter in my school has just been absolutely crazy. I have so many tests, midterms, um, just projects and just everything to do. I'm taking an acting class, which is crazy. And I found out I'm actually not that bad of an actress, apparently. Um, so I've had lots of memorizing to do for that. And, you know, just school's been crazy so I haven't had a chance to even finish season three which is unfortunate but I am I'm working through it I have um, one or two days a week that I have like a couple hours to spare so I've been trying to catch up so I can start watching season four because I know I've heard that season four is amazing my roommate is like in love with it but Season 3 is also really good. I am more than halfway through. I would say I'm probably about 75% of the way through this season. So once I'm done, I can finally move on to season 4. And I'm so excited to see what happens. But this show is just so, so addicting. It's amazing. Alright, my next favorite of the month is favorite album of the month. And I know generally I do favorite song. And I will be doing favorite song after this. But I wanted to mention a whole album because Taylor Swift came out with her new red album this month and I Instagrammed a picture of this as well. Love, love this album. I think Taylor Swift is my favorite singer of all time. I just, I love her songs. They have so much meaning and passion behind them. And I personally really love artists who write their own music as well as sing it because I feel like if you're seeing music that you wrote yourself, you're more emotionally connected to it. So I can definitely tell Taylor Swift is really connected to all of her songs because she wrote them. She really means what she's saying. So I think that's one of the biggest reasons I love it. And just a few standout songs from this album. Of course, we are never ever getting back together because that's, I think I mentioned that last month. But uh, I love Red, I love Treacherous. And I also really love um, Girl at Home. Those are probably three of my favorites on the album. And now for favorite random song of the month. I did mention the entire Taylor Swift album, but I wanted to mention a specific song from another band. And this is a One Direction song. Yes, I do like One Direction. I'm not a huge One Direction fan. I wouldn't like you know, go crazy if I saw them and I wouldn't cry and die and do all these things that all these fans do. But um, I do really like their song, Live While We're Young. I think it is 
such a fun, uplifting song. I don't know, I just really like the song. Very catchy. So I will put a link to that song in the description box below if you guys haven't heard it. I highly recommend it. Alrighty guys, so those are all of my favorites for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have a favorites video, don't forget to leave it as a video response below because I would love to watch it. Or if you guys don't make videos, please let me know what you've been loving for the month in a comment below. I'd love to know. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.